The lead juror in the Michael Draco trial says it would have ended with a hung jury if they didn't have this surveillance video. ABC Action News reporter J.J. Burton is live outside the Pinellas County Jail this morning. And J.J., in your exclusive interview with the jury foreman, he says he originally voted not guilty. Yeah, he says there was one other juror who voted the same way he did. That's why they were in deliberations for six hours. So they went back and rewatched the video several more times. And then they sent some questions to the judge. And he said he, Kleiman, Timothy Kleiman is his name, and he said he didn't have a good understanding of the law. So that's, that's what he was asking the judge about. So then after that, he took into account the description of the law and also the surveillance video. And then he says on top of the fact that Draca is the one who approached Marquise McLaughlin's girlfriend about the handicapped space, he says he had no choice but to switch from not getting guilty to guilty. Personally, I do feel that Marquise McLaughlin unnecessarily provoked Mr. Drake uh, by pushing him. I don't think that was necessary. At the same time, using the gun wasn't needed. Now, the, Timothy Clemens says when they all left, the jury members left, they were sad and just drained from that entire week. So this entire incident is just tragic and hope he doesn't have to do this again. Coming up in the next half hour, though, we're going to be talking about what's next for Draca. He's in the Pinellas County Jail and his next steps. Reporting live in Pinellas County, J.J. Burton, ABC, Action News.